I'm so into my Christmas. I'm not even going to turn the tree off in the daytime. Oh, look at my little decorations here. This is my love. Oh, wait, I didn't even take the tag off of that. Okay, this is my love heart. This tree, this is the first white Christmas tree I've had. Usually I do traditional evergreen, but the white represents the bride of Christ, which we all have white robes when we entered into our eternal salvation. And of course, the whiteness is the church. So as you see, I got the church. And then the angels or the cherubs who are like guardians. And then you have, you know, I put some snowman in there. It's not all religious. And then the crown for Jesus. He's the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And the star of Bethlehem when he was born. So you can put little things on your tree to represent Christ. Now Christ can represent, the tree can represent, there is a, I don't, I have to go look up the verse where it does say something about, the tree, the evergreen being, it's a tree. If you notice the evergreen tree, always, it doesn't shed, meaning it's eternal. So it could represent as Christ as well, the eternal salvation of Christ. And then I have the candy cane. If you know the story of the candy sticks, it's an upside down. What is that? J. For Yeshua, there's no J in Hebrew, Jesus, but it represents Jesus. And the red, of course, the blood of Christ. The green is everlasting. So it's a lot of little traditional things in there. Now, if you know about, I see I'm still studying, I'm becoming a messianic, so I'm still studying the roots of our uh, Hebrew the Bible, the Torah, the five first five books, but the color blue and white are very important in Jesus when he had his talit, which is the, I won't call it a robe, but the shawl, what he wore over him, that's what they used to wear. The wings that, oh, you know what, I should have put it in the video. As a matter of fact, it's upstairs. I have one. And I'll show it to you. Yeah, might as well, because I don't want to do a second video. Because we need to know these traditions, because it's not man's tradition we're celebrating. We're tra celebrating the, the, uh, the true meaning of Christmas is Christ. So we're celebrating him. But the talit, because when I do my prayer, I put my prayer shawl. And see the wings? The wings are blue and white. You put it over your head when you pray. Let me go back to the tree. And so they, they, the, uh, the rabbis and the, you know, people when they're praying, they're usually, the colors are blue and white. And remember the woman that had the issue of blood in the Bible and Jesus was walking in the midst of the crowd. And she, um. There was thousands of people around. She was trying to grab the hem of his garment. That garment was the talit and the wing. They call it the wing, though. And you see the talit? He grabbed that because he had it over his head. You see pictures of Jesus with his head with something over it, the talit. And then the wings, the strings were this color. See? And then you grab the wing. And power came out, which is the Holy Spirit, and she was immediately healed. So Jesus said he knew someone had touched him because the power went out of him. So you know what? I'm just following the, the traditions of the Bible. It's something about wearing a talit when you pray and keeping your head covered, period. You know, the covering of your head. Your head, your brain is very important. So I don't know when I pray, I cover my head. So whatever. But you know, it's traditions. 
But the main thing is to keep the focus on Jesus. This is just joy. He's letting you know he's a joyful uh, king. He's a joyful God. He gave us the gift of life. And he wants us to enjoy life. So when you look at the tree, I, I want it to be happy and to bring joy and marry, make you merry and happy. And remember your childhood. You can put like snowball fights. Remember you had you used to go out play in the snow at Christmas time, make the angel wings. You lay in the snow and make, you still see kids doing it. So make Christmas joyful because Jesus is joyful. He puts the joy in Christmas because he gave us joy. You know the song, joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. So he is, when you, when a king is crowned, it's a joyful celebration. So Christmas is the celebration of the birth of our king of kings. And we should be happy. We should not be saying, oh, I'm not in the Christmas spirit. Listen, people. You have a spirit because of Christmas. If it were not for Christmas or the birth of our Lord Yeshua, Jesus, you would not even be alive. So you should have Christmas spirit because Jesus gave it to you. But anyway, that's the video for today. And I'm not sh shutting it down now. Really, Hanukkah, the dedication, remember when the temple was destroyed and it was rebuilt? Uh, you got to go read that story. That's in uh, Josephus stories, but it is historical that um, they rededicated the temple during uh, the Hanukkah season, which is being celebrated this year, December the 22nd. There are eight days. So you're supposed to light the, the menorah, and I have my new menorah, but I haven't lit that because it's not the... 22nd yet, but I'm also doing the traditional Hebrew or Jewish celebration with the menorah, and I'll do a separate video, but you can have your menorah candles up now, and light one and put it in the window, and keep it lit, but I'm keeping my tree lit, morning, noon, night, I might even, even keep it up all year, no, not all year, but I'm going to keep it lit day and night. And reposition of the candle of light. Jesus is the light of the world. And I'm going to leave it on because Jesus is always lit up his spirit in us. So everybody have a very magical, merry, happy childhood. Christmas.